many Canadians have actually noticed that the quality of their dairy products uh, has changed. It's being called Buttergate. Hundreds of consumers in Canada are crying foul on the dairy industry for using palm oil supplements in cow feed. And it's allegedly changing the consistency in the quality of the butter they're buying. It isn't 100% confirmed palm oil is the culprit behind the change in butter melt or spreadability, says food economist Sylvain Charlebois. But there is a consensus among many Canadians that the butter is harder than usual. When butter destroys your toast in the morning, that's a problem. Sylvain Charlebois is a food economist and director of the Agri-Foods Analytics Lab at Dalhousie University. Charlebois says palm oil supplementation in cow feed is being explored as one of the reasons behind the recent change in our butter's texture across the country. Charlebois says with more people at home baking during the pandemic, there has been a surge in butter demand. And even though using palm oil in cow feed is completely legal, he says many consumers were never aware of the practice and may have hard feelings over the lack of transparency from the dairy industry, more so than with the harder butter on their shelf. As soon as you start hearing something like palm oil, uh, people don't necessarily marry the ingredient well with the blue cow image, purity, sustainability, local. Palm oil comes from uh, across the world. And so that's I think that's probably why... Uh, people are a little bit upset, regardless if uh, palmatic acids are the culprit or not. Quebec Dairy Cooperative AgriPur has asked dairy farmers to stop using palm oil derivatives in dairy cow feed. A statement sent to City News by Dairy Farmers of Canada reads, Dairy farmers across Canada have listened attentively to the concerns expressed by consumers in recent weeks over the use of animal feed supplements containing palm byproducts. In light of these concerns, Dairy Farmers of Canada had previously announced the formation of a working group of experts to assess current scientific literature, identify gaps in information, and look into issues that have been raised by consumers. However, that leaves Charlebois with more questions. One being, why is this only being explored publicly now when the practice of using palm oil additives in cow feed has been occurring for years? There's no data. I mean, they, the, the industry should have actually looked into this matter a long time ago, uh, but it didn't. In Winnipeg, Mark Neufeld, City News.